today's video tutorial and today we are going to be learning how to make our own jailbreak now this is pretty cool and really easy surprisingly um, but yeah so let's get started first off you need to download the 3.55 or w from the description and also how to make custom firmware RAR file. And once you do, ex uh, click on it and right click extract here. You'll have this folder. Inside this folder, you are going to, um, you're gonna uh, double click on this and I'm just going to extract this to your desktop. And then once you've extracted it, go back into this folder and CSA tools and uh uh not there but um you need to go inside here and you need to drag a lot of click on something, hit control A, and <clears throat> and drag and drop that over into this folder, the MFW builder, and then once you do, you, you can click on that, and then uh, open this back up, and now you're going to install these, uh, this, but first, take out the master key, and Drag that there. Then all these. Um, uh, sorry. Never mind. Forget what I said. Uh, these. Uh, now what you need to do is hit hold down the start button or home start button, and then hit R and type in pro, uh, percent user profile percent. Click OK. Now, once this shows up, you're going to drag a folder into here, .ps3. So open this up, go into .ps3. These are all your keys and everything. So go back over here and drag and drop this over. And then you'll have all the keys. So once you do that, then you open up this. And actually, before you do any of this part, really. You open up this, and then you open up Active PLC, PCL, I mean, sorry. And then whenever it opens, click Next. Uh, I accept Next, 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 and all that. You just keep going through with everything it says. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. It takes a minute or two. Then once it's done, you can go back into the M PS3 MFW Builder, Modified Firmware Builder, and right below task you should see app main tcl double click on it and then it should open up now this is what it's like you can choose to have this or not i would leave both those alone you can choose the theme you want it to have um, you can choose all these options any suffix or prefix you want it to have um, disable log output or show verb, verb off, um, debugging information, modified firmware, original firmware, uh, and what, what you do is click browse on original firmware, and then you just browse for your 3.55 OFW, or any OFW, like if you want it to be 4.20, then you get the 4.20 OFW firmware, and you need all the keys for that firmware too. And you just put them in the .ps3 uh, folder, and then you drag and drop that folder over where we drag and dropped ours earlier. But these are this is the 3.55, so go and get your uh, 3.55 OFW. And then open, browse, desktop, name it whatever you want, click save. Now, it will take a little bit, about five minutes to save it there, 
and then once you save it, um, custom pup build version, uh, the suffix and the prefix, and if set overrides the entire pup version string, uh, these two options. This is where you have a custom message or not. Um, like whenever it says, um, like has you ex has you accept the uh, agree user agreement. This is it. You can choose what what whether you want it to be enabled or disabled. Just click configures um, patch to allow running of unsigned applications. You want to leave that. You want to leave that. So it lets you um, install debug packages and retail packages for text and dex. Uh, level 2 kernel patcher, you want that. Um, you want this and this, which adds those two in. And then once you're done, you can choose these ones too if you want. But once you're done, you just browse and you choose to save it somewhere. Like I'm going to say here, CS3 up that, and just save. Now, build MFW. This is where it starts building it and everything. And it takes a little bit. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, this is the theme for this, by the way, guys. I don't know if you knew that or not. But, yeah, that's the theme for this. And that's pretty much it guys, that's all you gotta do. And once it's done saving, it'll say successfully created. Then you should have this here on your CFW. Mine's PlayStation Modding Team CFW.pub. This is the one I made. Um, I'm in, I have a clan, so my clan PlayStation Modding Team released the CFW. So 3.55, and I'm gonna try and make another one, make a, another CFW that for a later version. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in my next video. And I hope you liked it.